In a progressive set, points are ordered so that any subset consisting of the first n points is Poisson disk distributed. The radius of the disks decreases with the growing number of points. This allows point sets to be generated according to a spatially varying target density function by using only those points whose rank does not exceed the desired density at the corresponding location. The generation of large progressive sets is computationally expensive, but a progressive tile with toroidal boundary conditions might be generated to tile the plane. However, using only a single tile causes strong apparent repetition artifacts. To avoid repetition, we turn to Wang tiles, which allow non-periodic tilings of the plane using a small set of tiles. As stated in the paper, there exists no known method to create progressive point sets for Wang tiles directly. Therefore, we create a progressive Wang tile set by merging together a set of progressive source tiles. We create a unique source tile for each color of the tile set. To create a tile, we merge the source tiles that correspond to their edge colors. First, we create a fresh, unique source tile. Then we merge the four other source tiles, one at a time. Let's start with the right edge. Our idea is to overlay the two tiles and compute a seam connecting the corners of the edge. Then we remove the points located on the wrong side of the seam. Points located away from the seam are well separated from each other. Therefore, our goal is to find a seam that avoids short distances between points across the seam. We begin by computing the Voronoi diagram. Each pair of neighboring points is separated by an edge. We construct the seam from a sequence of edges, which separates pairs that are as far from each other as possible. We assign a cost to each edge that penalizes short distances. High costs are shown in red. Then we use a shortest path algorithm to compute a minimum cost path, and remove all points that are on the wrong side of the path. We use the same algorithm to merge the sources for the remaining edges. As you see, the resulting point set is well distributed. Finally, we create a progressive ranking for the tile as described in the paper. The tiles fit together perfectly and are also well distributed. In the following, we introduce recursive Wang tiles, which allow us to create point sets of unlimited density. We associate each tile with a grid of n by n scaled down tiles from the same set. This allows us to create arbitrary large tilings by recursively subdividing a coarse base tiling or even a single tile. To guarantee that subdivided tiles match, we associate each edge color with a unique color sequence for subdivision. Now we have to find an arrangement of subtiles for each tile that agrees with these color sequences. We employ a stochastic search in order to find a valid tiling. We begin with a random tiling that does not account for the color matching constraints and repair it iteratively as described in the paper. As a last step, we have to create a smooth point progression from a base tile to its subdivision. We achieve this with a relaxation procedure, where we move each base point slightly towards its nearest point in the subdivision set. Finally, we create a new ranking for the combination of base and subdivision points, as described in the paper. Now the point sets are recursive. The points on each subdivision tile coincide with one of the base point sets, allowing us to create infinite dense point sets via recursion. One application of our technique is the placing of primitives for non-photorealistic rendering. Here we show a real-time capture from our interactive stippling application. A comparison with the warping technique shows the superior visual quality of our technique. Penrose tiling can also be used to create stippled images. Note the high frame-to-frame -frame coherence of our method. The stipples exactly follow the movement of the camera when panning and zooming. While zooming in, we increase the number of stipples to keep the apparent density constant. We can infinitely zoom in without slowdowns. The next demonstration of our technique is an interactive texture painting application. The user provides a set of small alpha cutout images, which we call textons. At runtime, the user can interactively spray out textons by painting density maps using a brush. For each frame, the text on positions in the visible area are computed in real time using our technique. The compact density map representation allows large areas to be handled. Our application can be used to create interesting paintings. With standard image coding techniques, we can compress the density maps. Compressed, this painting takes only about 4 kilobytes of space. Finally, we would like to show the superior visual quality of a blue noise arrangement of textons. 
see the improved appearance of our arrangement in comparison to a random placement of textons.